The recently amalgamated Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing conducted a review of the inherited Caracol Road upgrading project as one of the least priority and learned that the government of Belize had an active loan with clearly defined expiration dates. The ministry was advised by its colleague ministries of finance and economic development that it should continue with the active loan and based on existing commitment with its funding partner, execute the remaining works under phase one, funded by the OPEC fund. However, consultations with the Kuwaiti fund, Belize's financial partner for phase two, culminated in an agreement to defer phase two for a year as Belize was experiencing an economic downturn, actively responding to the pandemic and had not yet drawn upon the loan. Therefore, Madam Speaker, a comprehensive design review of those portions of the Caracol Road project that were not under construction, meaning lot 1C, and three lots under phase 2 was done. This resulted in substantial cost savings. Combined with a renegotiated supervision consultancy, a total savings, Madam Speaker, of approximately $28 million was achieved. With no objection from the funding agency, the government of Belize signed a contract for the Caracol Road upgrading project with Belize Roadway Construction, Section 1C, in the amount of Belize $12,152.27. It is anticipated that works will commence immediately. The second contract that has been signed is the Philip Golson Highway Remate Bypass Upgrading Project, Madam Speaker. Contract award the 21st of May, 2021. The government of Belize under the previous administration secured funding for the Philip Golson Highway and Remate Bypass Upgrading Project in the form of part grant from the United Kingdom Caribbean Infrastructure Partnership Fund and loan from the Caribbean Development Bank. The procurement process commenced with the pre-qualification by contractors in July 2020 and subsequent evaluation of bids by independent consultants Polytechnica of Italy in December 2020. After careful consideration and honoring the existing commitment to the funding partners, Cabinet determined that the project was vital for promoting economic development, enhancing road safety and climate resilience and therefore cabinet approves its implementation, Madam Speaker. The Ministry of Infrastructure Development and Housing conducted its own diligent review of the selection process to ensure impartiality and transparency, and now wishes to announce that contracts for Lot 1, Lot 2, Lot 3, and Lot 4 have been awarded as follows. Lot 1, Tycrob and Sons Limited for a total amount of Belize dollars ten million five hundred and thirty thousand eight hundred and sixty five dollars and forty eight cents. Lot two, Madam Speaker. This was awarded to Cisco Construction Limited for a total amount of Belize twenty seven million seventy nine thousand three hundred and two dollars and thirty two cents. This section commences from the existing roundabout at the beginning of the Orange Walk bypass and terminates just before the proposed new roundabout forming the southern end of the Ramate Bypass. The civil works are very similar to described before. Lot 3, Madam Speaker. This was also awarded to Cisco Construction Limited for a total amount of $21,931,778.70, which comprises the construction of the entire Ramate Road Bypass. The civil works very similar to what was described before, Madam Speaker. And then finally, Madam Speaker, lot four. This contract was awarded, was awarded to Tycrob and Sons Limited for a total amount of Belize $19,791,478.71. This lot includes the two sections of the PGH, sections E and E2. Sections E1 commences at the southern end of the Remate Bypass and terminates at the existing roundabout at the southern end of the existing dual carriageway boulevard in Corozal Tong. Section E2 commences from the northern end of the Remate Bypass and terminates at the start of the existing dual carriageway boulevard in Corozal Tong.